Hi, I hope you're having a good time as we're doing a deep dive into Philippians chapter 2. I hope it's being helpful and just challenging some of the way that we live and lives before the Lord and before other people. Uh, he's talked about his gospel, at least I think it is, in uh, verse 1 where he's, he said that you know we are in Christ, that we are dearly loved, that we can walk in fellowship with the Holy Spirit and that God has tenderised our hearts and given us compassion. And those four things I think are just really part of who of Paul's understanding of what Jesus has done on the cross. Uh, I think that's his understanding of the gospel, probably as much as the four spiritual laws that we uh, come across from time to time. And then he says, uh, if you receive the gospel, then then there's really uh, three areas that it works out in. And uh, it comes in verse two. He says, uh, be like minded. You know, the, the, there's a there's something that happens in our heads when we contemplate the fact that we are loved by God, that we are in Christ, that we can see the Holy Spirit move. And we're constantly looking for that and that, that we're, we're recognizing and understanding that this compassion that we have, this tenderness that's coming to our hearts is because Jesus has put it there. We're not going soft, but God. God has done something in our lives. He says, so think about that, dwell on that, be like-minded, keep, keep, you know, think about stuff like that, and uh, that, that will really help us. And then he says, uh, have the same love, have the same heart, have the same bowels, the, that love, that agape love that Christ has shown for us, that has valued us even though we weren't worth very much, that wasn't sure whether we'd respond, uh, is independent of whether we respond is probably a better way of putting it, and, uh, and but values us and ascribes value to us and is willing to pay the price for that commitment to us. He says, have that sort of love, have that sort of compassion. And then he says, that it works itself out in unity together, being one in spirit and purpose, uh, being being together in this. And and we thought yesterday about how Christianity is a team sport, how we're in this together, we're running this race together, we're doing it together, loving one another and caring for one another and sharpening one another and, and praying for one another and helping one another. And, uh, and maybe you can think of some ways you can do that uh, as a group uh, today. And then there's a couple of things not to do because the way to the low road is um, the way on the low road it has no self-conceit, it has no boasting, it has no selfish ambition, it's all about other people, it's all about Jesus, it's not about image, it's about substance, it's not about something fake, it's about something real. There's a, there's a there's solidity about this. Uh, we're not like sham politicians doing shaky deals in order to be be elected and appear respectable. We're, we, we're the real deal here. And, uh, and so there's no selfish ambition or vain conceit. But instead, there's three things for us to do. To consider others. And that's just, how do you do that? How, how can you make that work? How, can you, how have you done that this week? And how can you do that going forward? Uh, someone said to me on Sunday after I preached, they said, yeah, I'm never late for a, a, a Zoom meeting with someone who's above me. And, uh, you know, when I said about treating someone at the bottom of the ladder the same as you treat someone at the top. And uh, uh, consider, uh, sorry, each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also the interests of others. That seems to be a, a longer term thing. That's, that's how we can help people over the longer term, to see the longer term picture for them and, and love them in a way that moves them on, moves them up. And then thirdly, uh, our willingness to take the low road. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ. And uh, just such a challenge as we then go into the poem and maybe you want to meditate that on that some more, particularly if you didn't do, if you didn't meet in half term last week. Uh, but have a great time as you think about these things, as you pray about it, as you look to Jesus as our example in this. Take the low road. See you in a bit. Bye bye.